midnight dreary. In the not-so-distant future, the world had become a dystopian wasteland of neon-lit skyscrapers and polluted skies. Los Angeles, once the city of angels, was now a city of demons, overrun by cybernetic gangs and ruthless corporations. Trent Reznor, a former rock star turned cyberpunk warrior, navigated the desolate streets of this techno-dystopia. Trent had once been the lead singer of Nine Inch Nails, a band that had rocked the world with their electrifying industrial music. But when the corporate overlords tightened their grip on the music industry and stifled creativity, Trent had rebelled. He traded his microphone for a cyber-enhanced arm and his leather jacket for a Kevlar vest. One evening, Trent received a mysterious message from an anonymous source. The message contained a series of encrypted coordinates and a single word, Manson. It had been years since Trent had heard that name. Marilyn Manson, his former friend and musical collaborator, had vanished into the dark underbelly of the city after the fall of society. Trent followed the coordinates, which led him to an abandoned warehouse in the heart of the city. As he cautiously entered the derelict building, he was met with an otherworldly sight. Marilyn Manson stood at the center of a bizarre ritual, surrounded by flickering candles and arcane symbols etched on the floor. Marilyn Manson had changed. Gone was the charismatic shock rocker, replaced by a grotesque Lovecraftian abomination. His body was a nightmarish fusion of flesh and otherworldly chitinous fibers, with tendrils of black ichor pulsating from his body. His eyes glowed with an eerie, eldritch light. Welcome, Trent, Manson hissed, his voice a cacophony of whispers. I've been waiting for you. Trent was paralyzed with a mixture of fear and awe. He had expected to find Marilyn Manson, but not like this. It was clear that his former friend had delved into forbidden realms of dark magic and xenomorphic augmentation. You were always the one with the power, Trent, Manson continued. But I've found something greater. I've tapped into the essence of Shubnigirath, the dark goddess of the outer hells. She has granted me unimaginable power. Trent finally found his voice. What have you become, Marilyn? Manson's laughter echoed through the warehouse. I have become something beyond imagining. I will reshape this city in my image, and all the beautiful people will bow before the might of the Goat Mother. Trent knew he had to stop Manson before his twisted vision became a reality. He drew a cybernetic blade from his arm, its edge crackling with energy. The battle that ensued was like nothing Trent had ever experienced. Manson's newfound abilities were nightmarish and otherworldly. He summoned grotesque creatures from the void to attack Trent. As they clashed, the very fabric of reality seemed to warp and shift around them. The warehouse itself became a battleground, with walls and floors morphing into grotesque forms. Trent's cyber enhancements allowed him to hold his own, but Manson's power was growing with every passing moment. With a burst of determination, Trent channeled his inner strength and slashed at Manson's abhorrent form. Dark energy spilled from the wound, and Manson let out an agonized scream. It was a momentary distraction, but it was enough for Trent to reach into his pocket and retrieve a small device. With a click of a button, the device emitted a blinding flash of light and emitted a burst of microwave energy. Trent's cybernetic form was shielded from the rays. The pulse surged through the warehouse, causing Manson to writhe in pain. His body convulsed as the dark energy that bound him was disrupted. Trent seized the opportunity and delivered a final, devastating blow, severing Manson's connection to Shubnigirath. The dark goddess's power abandoned him, leaving him weak and vulnerable. Trent didn't hesitate. He drove his cybernetic blade into Manson's heart, ending the nightmare once and for all. 
As Manson's lifeless body crumpled to the ground, the arcane symbols on the floor began to fade, and the grotesque creatures he had summoned dissipated into the ether. The warehouse returned to its derelict state, and a sense of normalcy settled over the ruined city. Trent Reznor had saved Los Angeles from falling further into darkness. But the scars of the cyberpunk nightmare still remained, etched into the city's very soul. As he walked away from the scene, he couldn't help but wonder if there was a way to rebuild, to bring some semblance of humanity back to this dystopian hellscape. One thing was clear, Trent Reznor would continue to fight, not with a guitar in his hand, but with his cyber-enhanced arm and the knowledge that sometimes, even in the darkest of times, a glimmer of hope could emerge from the shadows. In the neon-lit city of monsters, Trent Reznor would be that glimmer of hope, a cyberpunk warrior standing against the abyss, ready to face whatever horrors the future might hold.